Now let's try to make the same animation in a bit different way. Our character will remain in the center and the background will be moving. Like as we are walking with the character. Here I have the file from the previous lesson. Let's remove all redundant keyframes and the animation of this group. Now put the character in the center and move background to the left. So our character will have a space to walk. Our animation will not fit into default 120 frames. So let's extend the timeline length. Go to Canvas, Properties and switch to Time tab. Here we can set Start Time and End Time for the timeline. Set 200 frames here. By the way, on this tab you can also change dimensions of your canvas. Ok, now let's animate the background. Not bad, but I guess that in some situation you'll want to be sure that the legs of your character won't slip in on the ground. So I'll show you how to achieve that. Let's remove the last keyframe. Now we have a static background again. Turn off the animation mode and create a small red circle right near the toe. This will be a mock of its position. Now let's group the circle with the background. Turn off the animation mode and skip a few frames ahead to the extreme point when the toe is ready to get off the ground. Here it's the frame 14. Now move background strictly in horizontal direction by holding shift button. Align the red circle with the toe. As same as it was on the zero frame. We can move backgrounds more preciously by using arrows on the keyboard. Like this. Ok, on this time span we have character movement synchronized with the background. Now open the graphs panel and examine the movement graph of background layer. Move the time cursor to the end of our animation. Set a keyframe, switch back to graphs panel and move the background watching how the graph changes. Make a slope at this segment as same as here. We need to have a single straight line. As you can see, the graph is slightly curved. It means the motion will be non-uniform. Let's fix it. Go to the time track panel, right click on this waypoint and choose linear interpolation. Open the graphs panel again and so we can see that the graph is represented by straight lines. Now we can easily align their slope. Well, like this. Done. Now our character is moving synchronously with the background and his legs do not slip.